Hello everyone, my name is So Mungri, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys an indie game called Towers. It's uh, like a tower defensive game, and I'm actually bringing this to you because I've tried pretty much every demo for indie tower defense games. And I thought between this and sketchy tower defense, these were the best two. And you, I'm, I'm going to apologize ahead of time, I got a slight head cold here, so I might sound a little different. But, uh, I've been playing this quite a bit whenever I get bored and stuff, and I'm stuck at this level. This is actually a lot more challenging than the sketchy tower defense. And what you want to do is you get different difficulties. You can play on easy, medium, hard, and that's, that's it. And then each one has wizards at the end that you have to save. And I believe in the end, the wizard circle you can go here, and you can uh, cast probably the end spell, but you need like a ton of wizards for it. So, let's see here. I'm going to do this one, this end one that I haven't been able to beat. Maybe I can beat it with you guys. Maybe you guys will give me some good luck here, but <clears throat> it's rather difficult, and I haven't made it too far in it. I'm just going to go for a normal level here. And you can see I'm this gray wizard here, and I'm protecting those yellow ones. Um, right away, I'm going to buy a couple of these towers. These are just basic towers. These will hurt uh, air and land guys, so I'm going to upgrade the damage on each of these. I'm not really too sure on the strategy I want to take for this one yet. There's different things you can do. Uh, there's these little guys that come on the bottom. I'm going to buy a small ground unit. There's ground. There's this that slows people down. There's air. This is poison. There's another. This is a big ground tower. This is a big air tower, and this is it increases your XP that you get, but I don't think it's worth it because you have to kill them in a certain area, and at this point, I'm going to be struggling to kill them in a certain area on this particular map. So I'm going to, I noticed that the air guys, I've played this a few times, go up top for the most part, and the ground guys go on the bottom, so I'm going to make one of these ground things down here, and I'm going to make an air thing up here. I'm going to increase this damage, and I'm going to also increase the speed here on this. These are pretty good. And then you can speed it up with the right trigger like that. And you get points for killing them, and you get points over time. Let's see here. I'm going to upgrade this air thing next, as long as I can handle the ground guys. Uh, upgrade the damage, and I'll upgrade the range as well. Those little guys, those orange ones, these ones are the ones I'm kind of worried about eventually. They come through really fast, and they will get to my wizards. I'm going to start having to build some towers over in this area. And those are both upgraded already. I'm going to make, I'm gonna try a different strategy here. I usually don't do this strategy, but I'm going to try making some more of these. These are just... These are alright for this map because you don't really have to upgrade the range on them because they come through such a narrow area anyway. But I might be in early trouble here. Let's see. I have to upgrade this range here so that I can continue attacking these guys. And some of my wizards are going to go down here. Four of them. Okay. Try to do this a little bit smarter. What do we got? Some big guys coming here. Okay. As long as I can kill that last one, and then these three. Come on, get him. Okay. So I'm down to three wizards already. As you can see, this this level is definitely the hardest one I've been playing. I probably played it about a dozen or so times, and I have not been able to beat it yet. And you guys are gonna see me run into some trouble here, I believe. I'm gonna make an aerial, a big aerial one here, just to try to save me. I just need to kill one of these guys to keep this game alive and hopefully that air unit will take them out. Yep, thank you. So I got one wizard left. And I'm gonna be in trouble. Wow. Alright, so... <clears throat> I guess that was only four minutes long. Um, I'm going to show you guys another game 
I don't really play this game too much, but it's a pretty fun game. My nephew loves this game. Go to my quick launch here. Let's see here. Go to all. This is also, I think this, this Towers was 80 points about it like a month or so ago. So that's, it's a fun game, and but it does get challenging. I'll tell you, a couple levels I barely made it through. I had like one wizard left. My nephew loves this game. Where is it? Um, oh, Miner Dig Deep. If you haven't played this one, I recommend getting this one. I haven't played it myself just because he's been playing it, and I like to watch him play it. It's pretty simple. It's kind of like those games you see that everybody's playing these days, those like Minecraft, and you build your own house, but this is you're mining for gold, and you're working uh, <coughs> to upgrade your like axe and stuff like that. I'll just load his game here to show you guys his cavern he's got going. So we'll load this. Alright, this is the guy. This is me here. And let's look at my inventory. Got a bunch of stuff because he's got a bunch of stuff all upgraded and there's a shop. There's a store you can enter. Buy all these like crazy drills and like teleporters. It's just basically an endless mine and you're Digging for tr treasures and whatnot. It's pretty cool. You get to different areas. Ooh, there's a cave in. That's a cave in. So I've been playing with him. Here's this is you make some of these big elevators and there's teleporters as well. And then there's how do I go down this? Okay, there we go. And then there's also like let's see here. What do I have on? How do I do this? Though? There's an axe. Okay, I got the axe on. I know there's a inventory, maybe if I switch out, check this out, there's like a, a grappling hook, see it can come up here, hook up there, and there is also a drill, which is pretty rad, it costs uh, electricity or gas to use this, so you gotta buy gas, like, boom, see, you can see that, oh no, oh, uh, okay. So I died there, but here, see this huge cave we got, I don't recommend building that like he does right there with the cave right away, but I just want to show you how deep this thing goes, and there's like an ice barrier on the bottom that you had to get a special pick to dig through, so it's actually a pretty complex indie game, and you can spend some time on, on it, and it'd be pretty fun, I think. Um, I'm not sure how much this one was, I want to guess it's around 80 though, they're all around 80 or, they're usually around 80 or 120, and if you guys don't know, if you sign up with your live account on Microsoft, their website, you can do like surveys every month and the, those surveys will earn you 20 points and then it will automatically be deposited into your account, which is kind of cool. So I've been doing some surveys and I already got like, I bought some uh, arcade points a while back for when I was going to buy like, oh here's the ice thing that I was saying, he already broke through it though, but there's some ch chunks of ice. So if you guys don't do those surveys, I think it's a good idea. I already have like 300 points ready to be deposited in my accounts from buying like some arcade points from renewing my Xbox Live and also by taking their surveys every month. So, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, here's a teleporter that will take me back to the top. I see how far down my nephew goes here. And then we'll get our dig on for a little bit. Look at this. It's a pretty long elevator. We are at 3.30 and going for depth here. Oh, there's some, this is, uh, let's see. I dig down. Boom, that's any more. You just dig with this thing, or you can switch that out, put your pick on, dig with this thing, take a little bit more, but you don't use gas. And here, what do we got here? Now you do have to make it, once you have this stuff in your inventory, in your bag, you have to make it to the top of it. So it's not like you can just, if you die down here with it, you lose this all. That's why the teleporter is very good to have, and it's very good to buy these elevator shafts as well. See how far down we can go here. Wow, he's really got his dug out. I haven't seen this for a while. What's this? Grab this thing. Ooh, small gold, gold nugget. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Down some more. Wow. Oh, what's this stuff? Let's check out what this blue thing is. Oh, I don't even know what that was. Something crazy. So we are going way down. This is a huge elevator. Oh, he's been down here. He's, and then your the lantern that I have there. Oh, here's some. I think this. 
um, the lantern that I have does run out, so you will run out of lantern and you won't be able to see stuff next to you. Let's see if I can drill through this. Alright, I must need a different weapon that I do not have that he probably knows about. So, <clears throat> you just jump yourself up here. You just dig my way over here. Grab this. Alright, let's go up. And all the way up, all the way up. Here we go. And it goes pretty. Let's actually let's dig here. Let's, let's see how wide this goes. We're pretty close to the right side here, but this uh, just to give you an idea of how big this mine is here. Oh, he's got another elevator here over here. That crazy guy. Oh, and I got crushed by a rock. So that's a good spot to end this video. Um, just showing you guys a couple. Indie games, if you're bored with your games, these are pretty cheap, and uh, they're pretty entertaining as well. So I hopefully you check them out. Let me know if you do. Uh, download the demo. They were uh, Towers and Miners Dig Deep. So I hope you guys have a good day. And remember to like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment.